What's up everybody, my name is Dwight and welcome back to GeForce Garage. Today we are building an ultra high-end gaming and capture rig that is also capable of editing in 8K with the new NVIDIA Titan RTX. So our production team is constantly capturing, editing, and rendering 4K footage. So why not build them a machine that is capable of 8K and make their jobs a little bit easier? Like I mentioned earlier, we are going to be using the Titan RTX, which is currently the fastest PC graphics card ever built. It has the horsepower and bandwidth to handle any digital content creation workflow. Obviously, for the CPU, we needed something that can keep up with the powerhouse of the Titan, so we have the i9-7980XE, which is a monster 18-core, 36-thread CPU. And it's all going to be going on the X299 ASUS Toughboard. I've used Toughboards in the past and always had a really good experience with them, especially when it comes to their reliability. And to go on that board, we have 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM at 3200 MHz, which should be plenty to not bottleneck any creative application. As for storage, we have two 512 gig Samsung Pro NVMEs, which I know doesn't sound like a lot of space, but we do use external drives for our long-term storage. And just because it's gonna be a workhorse system doesn't mean it can't look good. So we got a set of extensions from Mainframe Custom, a couple of LED fans, and a Define S2 from Fractal Design. So there are all the components, now let's get to building. So there it is, it's all put together. Working inside this case was actually pretty nice. I've never actually done a full build like this inside of a fractal design case before, but this has become one of my more favorite cases that I've worked in. There's a lot of room for cable management in the back. There's spots for spindle drives and SSDs and places where you can hide them so you don't see them from the front. Another thing that I quite like about this whole build is the sleeved cables. I think that they look great against the gold Titan, and I went as far as to even change the color of the LED fans up top to a nice amber color, so everything is kind of in the same theme. The only other thing that really kind of stood out for me is that I should have checked this beforehand, but I think I'm a little spoiled with all the newer motherboards. This motherboard only has two M.2 slots, and one of them is the type that you have to mount it so it sticks out of the motherboard. Even though the M.2 does stick out, it won't impede the performance of it because it is still a PCI bus. And because our GPU is in a vertical orientation, it hides it pretty well. So we know this thing's gonna perform fantastic, but let's go see some actual numbers. So for comparison to show you what we've been editing on, our current PC has a 5960X, 32 gigs of RAM, a 1080 Ti, and a standard SSD. And here we're gonna load up a typical GeForce Garage project. This one just so happens to be Julian's upgrade video. Anyone out there who edits videos knows that smooth playback is important for speed and efficiency. So here at the end of our timeline is just a raw video clip from our camera, and you can see that the playback is mostly playing fine, only dropping a few frames. After we cut the video though, we go and add in our effects, the biggest hit to performance being warp stabilization, which helps smooth out our camera movements during b-roll, and as you can see our playback is now at a crawl. This ends up affecting our overall time it takes to edit and get the video out. Once that is all done, we need to export the video, and even though this six and a half minute video says that it'll take about nine minutes to render, it's actually going to take about 25 real world minutes. Now bringing that project over onto the new PC, you can see playback on our raw footage is now in real time, and even after adding our color correction and warp stabilizer, we can watch it seamlessly. Compared to our old PC on the left, which would struggle with this task, this new Titan RTX powered PC handles it with ease. And even when we go to export the same video, our export time goes down from 25 minutes to an incredible 10 real world minutes. So we know this PC can handle 4K footage with no problem, let's put it through its paces with some 8K footage, something that we would never try on our old PC. After loading in some raw footage, as expected we aren't able to do full resolution playback, but we were still able to playback smoothly without frame loss at only a quarter res. So as we suspected, the thing is an absolute monster when it comes to performance, so it should make for a great system for our content creation team, and personally, I think it's probably the cleanest build that I've done all year. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, and we'll see you for the next one.